one traffic, Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey is on taxiway Alpha, taxiing runway 21, head of the sky lane, uh, Sedona traffic. Doors are closed and latched, you guys? Yes, I watched theirs outside. Yours still is in the open position here. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, Whiskey 631 Bravo Whiskey is taking runway 21 for a left crosswind departure, Sedona. It's not shut. The door? Yeah, just give me this big coat. Done. I'm Eric, a private pilot based in Los Angeles. Join me and my family on our aviation adventures throughout Southern California and beyond. We should have a really good tailwind, but that could mean a lot of turbulence. I have to admit, I was really on the fence for a go-no-go -go decision for this trip. The winds aloft were forecast to be over 70 knots in some places. We were going to be flying over mountains from LA to Sedona. On the route, there's a couple small mountain ranges with peaks around 8,000 feet. And descending into Sedona, there's a lot of terrain and a lot of opportunities for the winds to cause turbulence. In the past, when I see winds like this, I see a lot of pirates for severe turbulence and small aircraft, and it can be really unpleasant for the family. I was worried that they just wouldn't have a good time. I thought that if we cruised at 11,500 feet, we could be way above the mountain peaks and minimize any of the turbulence. I decided to give the trip a shot and head to one of our favorite places, Sedona, Arizona. So are you hoping the when the, we, we are the empty nesters and two five, that you and I are like flying frequently two two. going to places? Is that your... Oh, like we're doing the retirement RV thing in an airplane? Yeah, like people go visit. I mean, that would be awesome. Is that kind of a hope of yours? Sure, yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm asking legitimately. <laughs> yeah, legitimately. I don't wanna, legitimately, I, don't I would love to. Yeah, I mean, I think anybody, any... I mean, like, General I aviation pilot guys, but... dreams of like ah. not having to work and just flying around all the time. So, yeah, sure, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Is that your dream, the flyer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have to figure something out. Obviously, there'll be compromise. Yeah. I, I think it would be a really neat way to go travel and see more of the country that we haven't had the opportunity to see yet. Yeah. I imagine there's a lot, of, forward, like, a lot of fun people to go meet community of general aviation pilots is like one of the things that I enjoy about about flying for sure. You get me a lake house back in Texas <laughs> and then yeah, I'll go on these little flying adventures with you. We'll just base ourselves out deal? of the lake. That's a deal? Pick on it. Okay. <laughs> it's on camera. You can't I don't know how we'll pay now. for all that but we'll feel <laughs> fine to win. That's right. Win the lottery. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> All right, we'll be on the lookout for the traffic. We're going to squawk the AFR and change to uh, Sedona. Thanks for Bravo Whiskey. All right, so we're coming into Sedona. This is like my favorite approach coming in here. It's just beautiful with the rocks, the red rocks and everything. The airport's on a mesa. And uh, we're anticipating a heavy left crosswind with a little bit of gustiness, so pro probably be bumpy coming in there uh, due to all the terrain. Although, you know, the wind's coming from behind us, so if anything, we'll probably get updrafts as the wind comes over these rock formations. Except at the end of the runway, maybe a downdraft as the wind comes over the, uh, tumbles over the, uh, the approach end of the runway. Is that the airport right there? Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, Sedona traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is entering a left downwind on runway 21 at 6,000, Sedona. While the turbulence wasn't too bad on the cruise portion of the flight, we got bounced around quite a bit on the approach. Terrain ahead, terrain ahead. Horizon will help. Leading altitude. Terrain ahead, terrain ahead. 
Terrain ahead. Sedona traffic, terrain Cherokee ahead. 631 Bravo Whiskey is turning left base, runway 21 Sedona. Sedona okay. traffic, Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey is turning final, runway 21 Sedona. Okay, we're going to have a left crosswind here. The runway made. There's the downdrafts. Big landing, guys. Nice. Oh my god, I cannot believe you did it that smoothly. What? Thanks, guys. We made yeah. it and we didn't die. Santa's reindeer have made it to town. It was not as turbulent as I thought it would be. Oh. As? It not even close. It was what? it was like nothing. That was not nothing. The Sedona Airport's a great place to fly into. They've got a nice long 5,000 foot runway, super reasonable fuel prices, parking, really friendly FBO, and a great restaurant on the field. They've even got rental cars. And if you don't procrastinate like I did, they'll probably have one for you. We had to rent one from Enterprise in town, but they came and picked us up and it's only a five minute drive from the airport. We stopped for a bite to eat. Nothing like a good second breakfast after a morning of flying and before a quick hike. Sedona's a small town and everything's really close, so you can't really go wrong where you stay. There's a lot of hotel options, but we like to stay at Airbnbs. In the last couple years, we've stayed at homes in West Sedona. All super close to our favorite thing to do while here. We are at Bell Rock, the girls' favorite place to go hiking and bouldering, right? Yes. And it's an energy vortex, and we get all excited, and Eric gets massive anxiety because the girls climb up really high, and we sit down low and perch and watch, and it's amazing, and we have a blast. John Muir said, climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. The winds will blow their own freshness into you and the storms their energy. While cares will drop away from you like the leaves of autumn. And this is why year after year, we come back to Sedona. They say Sedona has energy vortexes, mysterious cosmic forces of swirling energy. I don't know about any of that, but Sedona always has such a great vibe for us. It's our place to reconnect, to slow down a little bit, and breathe deeply. Guys! You're such a turd! That went right by my face! It's a place that will embrace you when you're dressed in a reindeer onesie. Hey, enjoy Sedona. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. You want to watch us scare the no, out of here? No, no, please, 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 please. Stop, 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 stop. I can't look. I can't look. I can't. I can't watch. Please, guys. I'll take the picture with you over here. Please, please. I'm not even kidding, it freaks me out. He gets really, really scared. Like any vacation, this one felt like it ended too soon. It was time to clear the snow off the plane and get going home. But there was one more bit of excitement in store for us. 
Two-way Alpha, taxiing runway two one, head of the skylight. So don't traffic. Doors are closed and latched, you guys. Yes, I watched theirs outside. Yours still is in the open position here. Oh, okay, fine. Not latched. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is taking runway 21 for a left crosswind departure, Sedona. After taking off, we wanted to do a little sightseeing. Engine gauges are in the green, fuel flow is good. Terrain ahead, terrain ahead. Don't worry about that. It's not shut. The door? Yeah. Okay. We will, uh, we'll go land and we'll shut it. No, it's okay. Oh no, you're not gonna want it. It's gonna get cold with that. It's okay, we're not very far out. Let's just land real quick. I don't want to, do you? Yeah, I think we should. Oh, oh. just give me this big coat. I, okay. As soon as the coat got sucked out the door, the plane started to vibrate and buffet. At first, I thought there might be something wrong with the engine, but the jacket flapping in the slipstream caused a stabilator to vibrate and the plane to shake. Poppins was doing everything she could to hold on to that jacket, and I was doing what I could to focus on flying the airplane, despite its strange aerodynamic state. The jacket was really hurting her hand, and I encouraged her to let go of it, but I'm really glad she held on to it because it could have gotten caught up in the stabilator. That was exciting and not the kind of excitement that I like. It was kind of sloppy coming in, but I just tried to stay calm and uh, be on speed and watch my speed on the base of the final turn and, uh, and land it even though it's handling a little bit weird. So I looked, I inspected the plane and I think everything's okay. So we're gonna take off again. It was a little scary, but um, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> all right. Have you ever had an open door or an in-flight distraction? I'd love to hear from you, so tell me about it in the YouTube comments below. Also, if you have a favorite hiking trail or a place to stay in Sedona, I'd love to hear about that too. I'm putting our local favorites in the video description, so check them out. We loved our time in Sedona and can't wait to get back next year. If you enjoyed this content, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for coming along on the journey with us.